let's be serious here because if your workout is less than an hour a day, which most people's is, an hour or less per day, then there's nothing you really need during that workout other than a bottle of water, right? And your normal meals. So your normal meals might increase a little bit, but even if you were working out at maximal intensity for that hour, that's 600 calories. That's a lot, but most people don't work out at maximal intensity for an hour. They're going to work out at you know, moderate intensity. So that's mostly going to be someplace between three and 400 calories. Three and 400 calories is not a lot of calories. So you don't really have to change a lot about what you eat to do that. That's just not much food. For me, it might be something drinkable. It could be a sports drink. It could be half of a, a bar of some kind. It could be half of a banana. It might be half of an English muffin. You know what I'm saying? Halves. I'm going with small. If it's right before the workout, I'm going to tend to go small. And especially if it's going to be an intense workout. That's going to be like so much that I'm not going to get a lot of blood flow to my digestive system. So it's going to make me sick if I eat a lot. On the other hand, if I'm going for a four-hour bike ride that we're going to be working at a very low aerobic level, then I'm going to eat fairly... I'm going to eat a lot more because you need a lot more and because it's not going to be hard on my digestive system to do that. In terms of maintaining your weight, calories are the king. They, they determine what's going to happen. So in terms of how you get those calories and what time of day is kind of a matter of personal preference. I don't think we do tend to do well when we fast, 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 fast for, you know, 20 hours at a time and then, you know, bulk all the calories into one sitting. But some people do do better with, you know, a meal every two to three hours. Other people need a little bit longer in between. So I think it's about really what works for you and your hunger patterns. So bottom line is I do eat whatever I want, but I'm kind of picky about it and careful. I mean, I'm only a five foot, three and a half inch female who's 52, so I only get so many calories a day, even if I am working out all the time. So yeah, I eat all the good stuff, and I tend to save a little room for some of the things I like, like M&M's and Oreos.